Hello there. Today it's time to make a book to remind me of what I have got and what I haven't got when it comes to distress inks and pro marker pens and such. So I just thought I'd show you how I'm going to make this book and um, I will post an update later on when I have had the time to actually decorate it and so forth. And um, getting the coil in here could be a little bit tricky. Just bear with me. So, there you got it. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put it in this binder door machine. And just bind it, close those coils. They are not closed, so I suppose I've got a smaller coil than I expected. Just put it all over again then. And when you are punching through like this, or just closing this, you can actually see when the coils are meeting each other. It's not perfect, perhaps I ought to tighten it up just a little bit more. Now, I think we're getting there now. So, there you see. And then I'm going to turn this back paper back. So this is the book and the thing that I wanted to show you was if you are going to put this book, let's say this was the front cover, and you're going to put this one in your bag. I'm sure it's going to be ruined if you have some beautiful decorations. So I thought I'd make a cover for the cover. And instead of just having a plain cover, I wanted to use my Spellbinders dies and just cut out this label. I think it's label 8. And then I have put some kind of plastic here just to be sure that I'm protecting the cover. And what I have done so far is I've got these tabs here and I'm going to write pro markers here later on and what I have done is that I have combined both the old ones and the new colours and I have put a um, box here and I can check these in if I have if I have them or not and there's four pages of them so you see there's quite a lot of pencils or pro marker pens and when it comes to distress ink and we are talking about those pads I have um, put, put them there and I have done the same thing with the Distress Ink refill bottles and also with the Stickles glitter glue and oh, I'm sorry, the, the Stickles glitter glue and the Distress Stickles glitter glue and also the Distress Crackle paint and um, if I'm looking at the next tab I haven't got there actually anything so I'm saving two pages for something else and when I'm going shopping, I could have this sort of a checkbook for me if I want to look at stamps or some kind of ink pads or glitter or so forth. I have listed all these things that I think one would want to buy from. And in the next tab, I'm actually I've actually got uh, um, a list for the things I want to buy. And in this pocket here, I could actually put more of these, these lists because you know you're going to the shop all the time. So you need to change those lists. And um, further in, in the book, I've got my stamps and I have sorted them by brand. And this is the greeting farm, for example. I mean, it's up to you really what kind of stamps you've got. Doodle Factory, Tim Holtz, Hero Arts and even Penny Black is there. And you could also continue just filling those pages up the way you want to. And there's also more room for more pages in the back. So this is what I'm thinking of doing and I'm going to post you an update of it after Christmas or after at least Christmas Eve because I'm now heading off to work. So I hope you're inspired to make your own book. It's very simple and um, thanks for your time. Bye bye.